Okay, so here's another abandoned mine entrance. We're gonna go in here and check this out. So yeah, they had some kind of complicated locking mechanism on this gate, and then there's a chain. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go past that into the tunnel. Yeah, that's the back side of the gate. More chains. A lot of chains. A lot of garbage too. A lot of modern garbage. Yeah. Don't look in there. What's in there? Mice. Oh. Yeah, it looks like dead mice in there. I think, I guess. Yeah, I'd say that'd be good. So we're continuing down the main haulage zone. Yeah, there are all the ore cart tracks. And that black pipe on the right was probably a water line or an air line for the drills. Oh, this was ventilation tubing. Here's a bunch of ventilation tubing. Um, all, all folded up, laying on the floor. They would have hung that in the tunnel and pumped air through it so there'd be fresh air in the deeper areas of the mine. Okay, continuing down the main haulage tunnel. Nice set of ore cart tracks here. And uh, Not a lot of clearance in here. I keep hitting my head, but that's why we wear helmets. I don't know if you can hear those in the camera, in the video when I hit my head, but I've done it like three or four times now. And I just, I just did it again. Three or four times in the last minute. This isn't very tall. Okay, some collapse here. Bunch of barrels back up in there. Uh oh, another shaft. Yeah, I'm not going near that. That doesn't feel good. Hold on, I'm gonna scoot up underneath here. Yeah, it's just dead ends. There's some ventilation tubing there, um, right where my light is, and then all these barrels. But this is a major junction in the mine because there's a vertical shaft here. No idea how far down that goes, but you can see the head frame right there. Yeah, the work cart tracks kind of curve here into this tunnel. Another big barrel. And the tracks go down here. The tracks have gone there. Yeah, the tracks go down here and uh, it's backfilled. They might have went to a lower area at one point, but not anymore. I will head back to the head frame. Maybe do the rock test to see how deep it is. So we'll throw a big rock down here and see if we can hear the bottom. Oh, the ladder moved. That's a platform. Sounds like it. Yeah, that was definitely wood. Try one more. Doesn't sound that deep. No, it doesn't. I wonder if it goes down and then heads off that way. 
Okay, so here you see a waste rock pile, kind of substantial, it comes all the way over here. But what's unusual about it is the mine entrance, the portal, is down lower. It's in this little ravine right beyond those rocks there. And you can see the little trail that leads in there into the portal. So I don't think I've ever seen a mine where the entrance is down low like that, but the tailings are at, at a higher elevation. So that's kind of unusual. Okay, so I think what is going on here is even though the topo map shows a mine entrance here, it also says there's a spring here. And I think uh, whatever's down here, right down there, that opening, um, goes into a spring. I think that's why you see all these plants in front of the entrance. So it's probably water in there. And these pipes that are here were probably used to pipe water from this spring to wherever. So I don't really think this is a mining tunnel. I think it's a spring. I've seen that on topographic maps before where they'll indicate a mine entrance, but it's really not a mine, it's a spring. So, but I don't know because there's all these tailings here, waste rock. Like I said, it's a pretty substantial pile, but I don't know where that came from unless they were mining inside here, inside the spring. So I gotta get down here and uh, check it out. So this old pipe here, I noticed it says there, uh, I don't know if you can see that, it's upside down, but it says National USA. So that's who made this pipe. I'll have to look that up and see what that company was about and if they're still in existence. But yeah, these are really old pipes. So I'm making my way down here slowly. Right around the corner there is the entrance. Yeah, this is a, uh, a spring. You can see the water there. It looks about to be about maybe a foot or so deep. Um, let me get down a little bit closer here. You can see how they, uh, over here on the left, they have a pipe coming out and they sort of put in what looks like concrete or concrete blocks. Actually, that's on both sides and even up on top. So yeah, this was once a spring and they kept it locked up. There used to be a door on there. You can see a hasp. And uh, there's a lot of debris in the water there, some timbers. And um, further back, looks like the old door is back there in the back, there on the right. So looking in here, I just noticed underneath the water on the left-hand side, I'm zooming into it, you can see what looks like a valve or that's actually a spool, I think, like for fuse cord or something. I don't know if that's made out of metal or wood, but it's it's totally submerged. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just notice that there in the tunnel under the water. And like I said, over there on the right is probably the old door that was here at the entrance. Yeah, that sounds about maybe two feet deep, the water. And uh, so anyway, uh, but it probably served the mines in the area because um, there's a lot of them. So that's why you see all these uh, pipes. You know, they must have pipes coming out of here and whatnot. So yeah, I'm not going to go in there. So on to the next uh, opening. There's a lot of them here in this area. So this is right near the spring, some kind of concrete foundation, and it's got some I-beams on there. Not sure what this was all about, but uh, it's here. And you can see one of the pipes coming up from the spring there in the background. Quite a spectacular view here, looking across this ravine. Uh, what most people don't notice though, when they come down this winding mountain road, which is right here in front of me, um, right here, I missed it coming by here the first time and I was looking for it. There is a staircase here made out of stone. I think there's 31 steps total and you'll never guess what this leads to. 
Okay, just made the climb up the stairs. There's about 30 stairs. There's the old Corolla parked in the turnout. And at the top of these stairs is this. This dates back, I think, to the 1930s. And uh, it's a uh, pool. And sometimes the locals keep goldfish in here, but I don't see any goldfish today but there have been goldfish kept in here and uh yeah so this is pretty cool there's a little plaque here over here let me get over there there's also a lot of bees yeah right there it says uh let me zoom in there uh schaefer fishbowl spring and that's what that is and there's a spring higher up on the mountain, I guess, that keeps this filled with water. And the guy that built this, I think was back in the 30s, as part of the uh, WPA program put out by the federal government. And you can see the water, it comes out there and looks like some comes out right over there, that little opening. Uh, there's no fish in here, unfortunately. I thought there'd be fish in here, but uh, not today. But there is algae they keep in here and moss to keep the water, I guess, uh, uh, somewhat clean, I guess. Uh, too bad there's no fish in here, though. That'd be cool. But anyway, yeah, this is just a little monument up here that nobody really knows about. And it's just right off the highway, as you can see. Yeah, a lot of bumblebees. Uh, I don't know why they're attracted to water like that. I've seen that before at other places that were wet. Um, but yeah, there's some down here too. I don't think there's a hive here. Uh, if there is, I might get stung, but oh well. But anyway, that's uh, Fishbowl Spring, otherwise known as Schaefer Spring. And uh, definitely worth, if you're coming down this highway, this is old, old US Route 66, by the way, um, outside Oatman, Arizona. This was the uh, old road people used to take to get across the country before the interstates were built. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's a real winding road. Uh, further up here to the left, the road does a lot of hairpin turns and it's very steep. So that's all that's up here, basically. And um, yeah, kind of a really nice view up here. Check that out. Thank you.